Right guys, so hello and welcome to my appointment here in Dior Vista Village. Now let me show you today, I'm actually here to try on a couple of classic pieces and some undergarments to wear under jackets. So I'd asked him to show me some of these lace tops. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cara and I'm from London. Well guys, today I'm not in London. Where do you think I am? It's been a while since I've taken you here. We are here in Vista Village. It's a glorious morning. It's really sunny, very mild. I'm in my heavy coat just in case the weather turns. And I thought I would take you with me because it's Easter, isn't it? And I thought, let's go and see what they have new for spring now we're officially in the spring season and go shopping so come with me right first stop is fendi guys what do we think of this white denim fendi first i love the white denim i'm just not sure about the white leather handle what do we think This one is very cool guys, the only thing is it would be better with the black handle. Here is the black handle in the fendigraphy though, what do we think? Oh. I just have to show you, I mean look at this, the baguette charms guys, what do we think? They're so cute but they're so small. Just to give you a quick little look at how the village is looking today it's so quiet here today guys honestly this is how we like it it's actually a little bit crisp the weather so it's not as busy i guess it's really really lovely when the crowds aren't really here oh look how nice that is they pull the daffodils out for spring that's quite sweet isn't it but yes we're going to have something to eat now just popping into pret and then we're probably going to pop into Dior next and then have a look at Fendi. Oh look, they're opening another Armani here. Is that one? Or maybe they're refurbing that one. But yes, let's go and have some lunch. Hey guys, so we've just had something to eat quickly at Pret and we're now walking over to Dior cannot wait to see what they've got in haven't been in here for a few months i think now there isn't actually a queue today but yes let's go and see what we have Right guys, so we're here in Dior Vista Village. Let me show you what they've got that's new in stock. So this collection here, if you saw full price boutiques last year, spring, summer, this is what this is. So this is spring, summer 2023. I know, gosh, where has last year gone? So I'm just gonna fling past them quite quickly because there's so many to show you. So enjoy guys, let's put some music behind this, sit back and enjoy.
going with ready to wear we've got the cruise collections from last year as well as spring summer how much is this now oh my gosh half price do you remember when this was on the runway that's 1450 now and they've got the matching skirt wow this was also one of the favorites from last season spring summer that's now half price 1550 and then i remember these i didn't actually try these on before when they were full price but they're now 1600 is gorgeous guys it kind of reminds me of Dior Cruise Wave 3 where they did the cream onto the bar jacket with butterflies this is lovely I wonder how it looks on it's a knitted looks like a knitted bar jacket style and they've got a lovely skirt here looks like it's a black skirt love that wonder if they have my size <laughs> Looks like they've got another, this is a double breasted bar jacket in a knitted fabric. So, I mean, gosh, they have got quite a lot of good pieces. You can carry the test of time. That's last season's Toile de Jouis. Let's keep going. What do we think, guys? There's a lot of navy and denim. Oh, look, this is a long line four pocket jacket. I showed you my recent one I unboxed in the vlog above. <laughs> to get them back i mean look at the details on the Kristen dior buttons especially printed denim in my opinion because you can wear that season after season you know it's very what's that that's what we got the that's reversible that's from the previous collection i showed you last time and this is from cruise spring summer 2023 how much is this that's 825 50 percent off Absolutely heavenly, beautiful. How much is this? Oh, that's one two two five half price. Look at this leather jacket, though. <laughs> Right.
right, they've got lots of newness since I last came in on shoes. Everything on Dior footwear is 40% off. This style reminds me of Dior Cruise 2024, the Frida Kahlo inspired boot with that heel. What do we think? They also have it in black, which represents to me the current season SS24. They do a lot of the chunky Chelsea boots and chunky walking boots here, although I quite like them if they weren't so heavy. These are quite heavy for me, but they always tend to run these kind of shoes and boots. Have a look at these loafers. Loafers aren't really my cup of tea, but I know that there's a lot of girls that love the style, so I'm showing you anyway. And then if you remember one of my previous vlogs, I tried on the black one to these. I love this cosmetic nude colour. It's 414 now, what do we think? These ones you've seen from me before, as you've seen these. Although this hot pink colour was very on trend last year, so if you missed out, they still have that in stock in Dior Bista Village. Quite like the animal print, can't lie. This is now 40% off, couldn't see the price on that one. Guys, these ones are beautiful. Do you remember I showed you the black suede with the gold heels? So now they've got these slip-on mules. I love them. What do we think of these beautiful scarves? These are actually like stoles. They probably have silk and cashmere in them. Really beautiful colors. are the ones that I bought last time and I wear them all the time. I got the tortoise shell ones as well. I really recommend them if you like them. And then have a look at the belts of Du Jour. That's quite nice. Right guys, so hello and welcome to my appointment here in Dior Vista Village. Now let me show you today what I am going to try on. I mean I might not try all of these pieces on to be honest with you but my SA has pulled out a few things that he thinks I would like. I'm actually here to try on a couple of classic pieces and some undergarments to wear under jackets so I'd asked him to show me some of these lace tops. We've got one there and we've got one that fell off the hanger here. So a couple of lace high neck turtleneck tops. Then this is a gorgeous looks like a lovely combat trouser with elastic hem it totally reminds me of the noughties and then this is a beautiful dress by the looks of it it is a tiered dress with a lace trim can you see the lace trim there just at the underneath these are the pieces I quite like the idea of so you've got these are pleated front trousers and may I just remind everyone that the ready to wear is 50% off here at the moment in the boutique and then I'll show you the cream one in a moment. This one I'm not such a fan of. I mean we can see if it fits me. The trouble is if I do like this knitted trouser probably they can't hem this, they can't alter knitwear so I may give that one a miss. These are beautiful jackets. You've got the original cropped jacket style in a lovely heavyweight knitwear. I would call this like a jacquard knit. You know this is the kind of fabric that Dior run every spring summer as a lighter version to the tailoring and then there's a bar jacket in a knitted stripe so we'll try that one on and then this is the other color of the trouser so this is the same color cream as the classic cream bar jacket so I was wondering how that might look and if it works would I wear it with the bar jacket that I already have <laughs> Welcome 
to my vlog here in Dior Vista Village. So like I said, I haven't been in here for a while. I've been waiting to see the new spring drops coming in. So this will be from Dior Spring Summer Cruise from last year. And I thought I would show you this because I'm really into my classic tailored pieces at the moment. You would have seen when I went to Paris Fashion Week, I wore one of the most beautiful tailored coats that I bought here at Vista Village. Now these trousers are absolutely gorgeous. I will pop the price down below and then if I come closer, you can see that this belt completely coordinates with the belt from my coat that I bought here at this village that I wore to Paris Fashion Week. So it's got a removable black self-fabric belt with eyelets if you can see and then if I hide the jacket it's got beautiful natural pleats here it's got front creases in terms of the shape of the leg I would say it's slightly more tapered at the ankle and it's high-waisted so for me because I've got curves high-waisted really really works for my figure and then look at this jacket guys so I've shown you first unbuttoned because this is how I would wear it on a regular spring summer day but but it's knitted, absolutely lovely. I will show you the fibre composition in a moment, but it's £1,450, half price. And look at the buttons. And it's got a jigger button on the inside on that side. So this is double breasted. And when I button it up in a minute, you will see the silhouette. So guys, basically here is the jacket now buttoned up. So you will see it's double breasted with two rows of CD buttons here. It steps away here. You might feel inclined to pull it, but it's actually designed to step away as it peplums off of your hips. It's semi-fitted, but what I love is they've designed these pockets to be quite voluminous. So when you stand, I think I could probably do with a slightly smaller size. It does epitomize the bar jacket fit, which is very nipped in here and then more fluted out on the hip. But what do you think? This is actually a navy and cream and these are black. Right guys, so this one I'm trying on now. This is a stretchy knitwear. It's really stretchy and it's in the shape of the classic 30 Montan cropped jacket. I mean, they do this shape in stretch knitted fabrics all the time and this is such an easy version. It's obviously in a black and white gingham and you've got the patch pockets here with the CD buttons. Beautiful. Completely unlined because the thickness of this jacket is really lovely. It's like a medium weight. I would say you could wear this in spring. Like if I bought this now, we're on Easter weekend. So this, you could wear this right into summer, to be honest. We'd change your high neck into a t-shirt or a shirt. But what I love, you know me, I like my black and white. So this is definitely a favorite. And then the sleeves, I quite like just the black tipping on the sleeve. <laughs> So as you can see, this is in the same fit as the black trouser I've just tried on. And this is in the classic cream colour. I mean, obviously, with a curvier figure, I don't really tend to wear lighter colours on my lower half because it does accentuate the curves. But I think the way that this trouser is tailored, if I come up closer, you can see, I mean, obviously, the light's hitting me right there. But if I kind of move... Can you see that you've got really deep pleats here, slightly smaller ones here and here, and then you've got side pockets. So although, you know, this might be more rounded on me, it's actually quite flattering for someone with more curves. What do we think? And it's more tapered on the ankle, so it's very elegant, I would say. I quite like this as an idea to wear with my cream bar jacket, now that I have that. And then it's got the same lovely, I would call this like a rock chick kind of belt with the metal eyelets, which can be removed. And perhaps if I did wear the cream bar jacket, I would take this belt off and put it over the jacket and cinch in the waist so that the underneath of the jacket is smoother without the belt. But what do we think? And I'm wearing, these are the same shoes that I have worn before. Can you see? I'll pop the vlog up in the corner of these shoes. They're black suede and they're, I think these are the 10 centimeter high. They are gold heels and they're really comfortable. Let me show you down here. 
So for my height, which is five foot two, and these shoes, this trouser is perfect. I wouldn't even need to have it altered, which is great. This is 50% off. So yeah, they have some great classic style pieces in the Beast Village right now. This one takes me absolutely way back to the noughties. This is when the original utilitarian trend came out. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous trouser. As you can see, it's a combat trouser, but what is beautiful about this is you've got drawstring cords with a CD buckle there on both sides and then you've got the same on the ankles. I love them with heels. Like when it was back in the noughties, I was told, this was me 20 years ago, literally, honestly. I love this style. I love the skinny fit top with the baggier trousers and the heels. But I have to say for me, having tried on these, trousers i think my style has evolved and i really love my classic pieces this for me i love but i'm not really a fan of utilitarian combat styles because i feel like the trends kind of come in and jump out very quickly as they come back so i love this i mean it would look so lovely with the khaki trench wouldn't it so it's absolutely lovely i need to take it off before i change my mind but this is beautiful it's in a cotton nylon and it's absolutely heavenly Before I finish here in the change room, let me show you a couple of dresses. So this is beautiful. It's so elegant. You've got a shirt dress top half buttoned through all the way down actually. But then the second half from the waist down, it's like a doll. I mean, it's like a dolly's dress. It's tiered. I would say this is full skirted, full 360 degrees worth of fabric. You can dance in it, it's beautiful. And then underneath, you've got a separate slip dress with a lace trim. So it's a spaghetti strap dress underneath, separate dress. And I put my belt from the trousers on top, but you can wear any belt. It doesn't come with a belt. I just thought it's really pretty. What do you think? And then obviously now you can see the suede shoes in more detail. They're really comfortable, honestly. I've tried them on a few times since I've been to Vista Village over the past few years, and they always run these as well, as long as they are in stock, but they're very comfortable. What do we think? Right, guys, accessories and bags. Let me show you. Look at that beautiful bee choker with the pearls. These are in the glass cabinet at the front. I do like this grey though, guys. What do we think of that as a clutch? And onto bags. They've got a lot of wonderful 30 Montan bags. Look at the so black. The one at the back looks like the new Desire bag from SS24. It's not really a shape I tend to reach for, but I know it's incredibly popular. And then, look at this. This looks like a previous season canage tote bag. They have it in two sizes here. But what I really love is this. Does anyone remember this? This is from Autumn Winter 22. This is called the Camp Bag. It's beautiful, really soft, squishy, and it's like a little flat bag with the little sporty clasps in a ruthenium dark silver hardware. Right guys, for all of you Caro bag fans, this little segment is for you and me. I mean, I love mine. Look at this green bag. I have been manifesting this green. I just keep seeing it everywhere across spring this year. Look at the price now. It's 35% off and I quite like the blue hardware. This color is not my favorite, but I'm showing you anyway. But the one I do love, I just wish it was in silver or ruthenium hardware, is the denim Caro. Look at the 
canage inside as well it's so well made and it's absolutely stunning i could wear this right now we are obviously in denim season now guys spring is sprung look at the pink tweed oh it's so beautiful and look at this very rare version of an embroidered caro i mean guys once these sold out that's it isn't it and then in terms of the east west it's not my favorite design but i love this color a lilac -y pink what do we think I mean in terms of the bobby bags this is probably the one I would reach for I love the uniqueness of this with the gold base it's 35% off it's so beautiful and I think the leather is very robust with the suede inside right guys let me show you the beautiful drop of Dior menswear here in Bista Village I mean look at this puffer jacket first of all I'm here showing you some of my favorite pieces even I would wear I mean it's becoming more and more unisex and I think that's great because if you like oversized girls and guys then your smaller frame like me would fit into these really really quite cool and trendy but this drop as I will drop in some runway pictures for you is from the spring summer 2023 collection otherwise known as california couture so last year spring kim jones showcased this collection in venice beach la so it's very pastel a lot of paired back with gray and black but the colors are really really soft and dusty i mean look at this canage puffer jacket i think the colors would suit women as well and I think the element of the lurex brings a youthful culture to it as well. I mean, Kim Jones was all for talking about the creativity combined with youth culture for this drop. What do we think? One of my favourite pieces here, I would wear this, is the California Couture jumper in pink and I also I mean look at that grey the grey is beautiful against these pastels I also love this I would totally rock this with a pair of grey joggers why not guys the only thing is they just don't have a size that would suit me I'd need an XS but let me pop some music in the back come sit down enjoy and I hope you like this for all of you gents who are watching look at this this is evocative of the newspaper print Kristen Dior from back in the day in the 90s what do we think John Galliano inspired so let me know and enjoy beautiful sage greens guys as a woman I would actually wear this jacket I mean it's like a blazer it would be quite big for me on my shoulders but if they would offer a size extra small I would so try this on there's also a pale pink which I will show you in a moment pink I was telling you about just earlier it's like a salmon pink it's so cute and that lapel with the extra strap detail can cross across your center front and look really really smart 
Right, still on Dior menswear, have a look at the wallets and jewellery here. I mean, you let me know what you like and I will show you more. I think particularly popular will be these hoodies. These are the signature Dior hoodies. They tend to run this all season depending on what surplus stock they receive from around the world. But that was there in navy. I mean, this beanie hat's quite cute, can't lie. If this was in black, I would so be on this. Right, so I hope you all enjoyed that Dior segment, guys. We're now heading to the apartment for a little refreshment. And it's still so nice and quiet, honestly. Just a little bit more windy now. But yes, let me know what you think. What do you think of those menswear pieces, guys? I thought I would show you more menswear this time. What do you think, all of you gents? I hope you've enjoyed that. I didn't actually go into too much detail on the accessories and on the bags. But if you want, I can show you that next time. We are heading to the apartment which is there. If you haven't already, then make an appointment and come and see what they have. It's basically a great place to relax once or in between shopping. And this is the entrance from the side of the car park. So we're just waiting at the apartment entrance. We said that we're here. And it's so lovely and quiet, guys. Look. It's really nice. So we're just going to hopefully put our feet up for a few moments and have something warm to drink. It's become quite windy, unfortunately, and maybe see what pastries they've got. So come and enjoy with us. Just having a little cocktail before we head home. Why not? So we're here at the farm shop now guys, we're on our way home shortly and mum had an offer on her app where you can redeem some money towards food. So I think originally it was a afternoon tea deal. They said because afternoon tea has now finished, they will offer us the same value against something else in the menu. So we're going to pick that up, hopefully, and then head home. what a result I mean we've had such a great experience in Dior Vista Village they've gone and arranged a driver to send us home so we don't have to get the train today how amazing but we're gonna quickly pop into Fendi again so I wanted to come back in to look at the shoes I mean I've seen this here in Vista before in white so they now have it in black they don't put the prices on their shoes you have to ask but I thought I would show you what's new in anyway look at these slides not my favorite colorway but I do like the black trim they always do tend to have old season Fendi first and Fendi flow this is the Fendi flow with the pink and white what do we think they have the seasonal Fendi First pointy toe version slingbacks. I mean, I am kind of keeping my eye on the black leather this year. What do we think? showing you Fendi ready to wear and if you are a Fendi fan as I am I do recommend coming into Vista Village because I'm just showing you a selection of the product that they have in store at the moment my particular favorite part of the line is the black and white also I love the Fendi Roma and the Fendi Graffiti logo motifs I mean look at this jacket it's very cool but I love the knitwear I love this denim jacket although I think this could also be for men wear as well and in terms of the rotation they rotate it every couple of weeks depends on how quickly they receive new surplus stock look at these jeans though the only thing is I just didn't have the time to try any of these things on we need to come back I mean look at the leggings I would so rock this but in terms of Fendi ready to wear it's worth coming in It's like a sage green scarf. I saw this earlier when I came into Fendi. Quite nice for spring. Right, 
So let me show you the beautiful Vista Village as we're walking home. I mean, we're not walking home, we're walking to our drive. I can't believe we've been offered a lift home. Thank you so much, Dior, and the apartment. That's a really, really kind thing you've offered us. But look how pretty it is in Vista Village at night. It's about six, no, it's about seven o'clock now. So it's even more empty and I think it's probably because everyone's waiting till Easter and if you celebrate Easter, wishing you a very, very happy Easter. But yes, let me flip the camera around. Hello. So we're on our way. It's quite a walk now from the Fendi Boutique back up to the apartment, which is where our driver, so nice, is going to be taking us home. Right guys, quick voice over because I didn't want to talk over that screaming baby that was approaching behind me. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Wishing everyone a wonderful and very happy Easter and I will see you next time. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell and follow me on our Fashion Fix together. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.